Hi everyone, it's so great to see you again. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Sarah from Inkno, and you should definitely hit subscribe so that you can stay updated on all the different EdTech tutorials that I have for you. The tutorial today is on how to create a spectacular PowerPoint presentation by adding in a moving background to your slides. I do have to say that this tip is much easier than it sounds. All you need is some PowerPoint knowledge and a video and you're set. So we can start here with a presentation I have introducing the science of waves to students. To really elevate this presentation, I wanna add a moving background here so that my students can have an easier time understanding and so that I can delve deeper by annotating on top of that video. So let's get started here by going up to the insert tab and just going to video. So here you can choose to upload an online video. Anyone from YouTube can work, or you can do one from your device. So I have one here with ocean waves that I can insert into my slide. I can move this around and since I want it as my background, I'm going to make it full screen. And once that's done, you'll see that it has covered up all of the words. So I can just right click here and click send to back. Now my words come up and the video goes backwards. So you can see here now if we start our presentation, if we click on the video, it will begin to go, which is really great. But now we need to do a couple of edits. So if we exit our slideshow mode, Let's go into the playback of our video tools up at the top ribbon. And first we want to click its loop until stopped. So this way the video will keep going until I change slides. And I want my video to start automatically when I start my presentation. That way I don't have to click on anything for it to begin. Next, I want to do some trimming to this video. So we can just go up here to trim and I just wanted to trim off that little bit of black at the end. So if we just move it up a bit, that should be good. And then we can click OK. So now when we go into our presentation mode, you'll see the video has started. And when it is complete, it just goes back again. To really dive deeper into helping my students understand waves, I can annotate right on this screen because I'm in PowerPoint and I like to use class point when I present. So now I can help my students understand the motion of waves a little bit more clearly. And that is about it. You guys can do this for any slide in your presentation at any point in your editing process. You can do it first and add text boxes, shapes, or other objects right on top of your video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit something new to implement into your classroom. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe.